So we've seen how we can create a form and now we need to see how we can add buttons to that form to help do some work for us. So if we quickly create a form, there's a form in design and we turn all the data options off using the property sheet, but we don't want scroll bars, we don't want the control box, we don't want the close button, we don't want the min max buttons, we don't want the navigation buttons and we don't want the record selectors. So in design, just going to resize the actual canvas area because that's quite large. Drag the dotted area in. That's now the size of my form. And then I can resize the actual window that it will load inside. And let's save that as FRM my menu. Okay, so that's a plain form. No buttons at all anywhere on the form. So the first thing that we'd want to add is a close button so that we can actually close the form. Now from our form design tools design ribbon, we want the button control, but just before we add the button control, let's just expand the choices here and turn on the wizards. And the reason that I'm activating the wizards is because that will help create the button a lot faster by actually writing the code for us. We will look at writing a little bit of code ourselves, but to start with, we're going to use the command button wizards. So I've activated the wizard in a little drop down if it's not already activated. Then I choose the command button. And normally the close button would be at the top right. So I'm going to draw. I was just dragging out my command button at the top right. Because I've activated the wizards, it wants to open the wizard. That's fine. And then I have a choice of things I would like to do. So what are the categories? Well, it's a form operation because I'd like to do something to this form. I'd actually like to close the form. Next, having chosen to close the form, I have a choice of two default pictures, which is a red circle or an exit doorway. Or I can say show all pictures, in which case I can actually choose any one of the icons that is built into Access. Now, obviously, not all of them would make logical sense, but I do quite like close window. It's a little cross, as opposed to the red circle, which is a bit too dramatic for me. Alternatively, you can create your own icons and therefore use the browse button to pick that icon up and use that for your button. So I'm going to use the close button. Next, I need to give my button a sensible name. I'm going to call it command close that's pretty sensible because it's going to be used to close and then finish there's my little rectangle which i can resize so that the x fits nicely in the middle of it how big a close button do you need and then when you view the form you can see the x i'm just going to save because when i click the cross it will close the form there we are my form's closed so that's frm my menu to reopen and we have our first working command button closing the form Back into design. If I want a button to open one of my other forms, perhaps FRM employees, then I would need a button for that as well. So I go for the command button, click and drag. What would I like this button to do? Well, I'd like it to carry out a form operation. I'd like it to open a form. Next, it then gives me a choice of all the forms in my current database to open. FRM employees is the one. Next, and then would you like it to open the form and show all the records or open the form and find specific data to display? So effectively filtering the form. Well, let's stick with show all the records. We will go back and use a filtering option. And next, and I can choose the default, which is a form picture, very helpful, or show all the pictures, which gives me access to every icon in Microsoft Access. Alternatively, I can just add a bit of text that says view employees, something logical that would make sense for people. Next, and then a sensible name. Notice now it's gone to command one, whereas the first one was command zero. Well, I'm going to name this CMD open employees. Finish. That creates me my button. Now we already know how we can customize the button to be a different color, etc. So we'll stick with the default because the point of this particular lesson is to see it in action. View the form, save the form. View employees, click, opens the employees form. I can then close the employees form and I'm back at my menu. So I've now added an open form button. Very easy to do using the wizard. I simply choose the operation from the list, click, click, choose a picture or add some text, click, finish, and the button is created for you. It couldn't really be any simpler. So let's go back into design and add another command button. Because I've left the wizard on, the wizard's doing the work for me. This one I would like to be a form operation, to open a form, to open the children's form, all the records, 
and change the text to view children. Next, command view children, finish, and just resize that to match the size of the other button. Now I could do that with my eye as I'm doing there, or I could select both objects, go to arrange, and choose align left, so they're both aligned to the left, size to the widest, and size height to the tallest. So I now know both buttons are the same width and height, and they're both aligned to the left. View the form, and my view children views the children. So I have two buttons that open other forms, and one button that closes this particular form. The last little command button that can be of a lot of use is to actually quit access. So if I go back into design, I'm going to put this near the bottom, and to make sure it does sit at the bottom all the time, I'm going to add in, right click in the detail, form header and footer. Now I'm going to move the cross into the header, and in the footer, I'm going to put my quit button. It's a new button. What kind of category is it? Well, it's actually an application category because I want to quit the application. Next, I want that picture or another picture or my own words. I think my own words. I'm going to put exit. Next, command exit, finish. And then I can resize and place that where I want on the particular form. So I'm going to go for the bottom right. Save and view. Now I have four buttons. One to close, two to open forms, and one to exit the application. And by exit the application, I mean close Microsoft Access. So one click and it's gone. So that's the command buttons using the wizard. So the wizard's doing a lot of the work for you. It's writing all the code behind the buttons. All you need to do is choose the correct commands from the wizard, give it a sensible name, and the buttons will work.